by 12. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Western Conference, round one. LaMarcus Aldridge and the Portland Trailblazers. Take on Marcus Gasol and the Memphis Grizzlies this Wednesday. And we welcome you back to our presentation of Game One. Guys, who's seen a confident looking Clippers team out there? Solid first quarter for this club. They came out strong and they put together some nice momentum here. Steve, I like the looks they've gotten on offense. A lot of good. Spurs trail by 12. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the floor for San Antonio. Diao and Duncan at the four and the five. Parker and Danny Green are your one and your two. And it's Bellinelli in at the three slot. For San Antonio, they have converted one of two free throws so far today. Now Crawford. Rebound San Antonio. You see the defenders get out of his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the bucket, but not that time. And plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. Easy call there. No question about that one. You can hear the impact from where I am. The Spurs shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Free throw drops for Green. And Los Angeles with some changes. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Davis. And it's Griffin in for Hito Turkoglu. The Spurs also with the sub. Baines is checked in. He doesn't get the second one. Barnes dishes to Crawford. In transition, here comes San Antonio. That one's good, and the Clipper lead is cut down now to just six on the basket from Bellinelli. They started the game off tortoise-like, but their offense coming to life. Tortoise-like? Wow, Clark. Yeah, they're putting it together, but still trailing. Their offense is finally getting some traction. Crawford against Green. With the fadeaway. And Griffin scores. The assist by Crawford. Griffin's got his second basket of the night. You know, next time he has that much space, he should just go straight up with it and leave the fadeaway at home. Park that fadeaway, take the shot that's available. Pretty good defense there. I mean, that's a shot that he can make, but they really challenged him. Crawford kicks to Rivers. He dishes it to Barnes. Pass to Crawford. There's the three. Shot's good. Crawford's got five now. That was simply a defensive breakdown there, Kevin. He was all alone for that shot. It was a warm-up jump. And Antonio calls timeout. A different look for the Clippers. Reddick comes in for Jamal Crawford. And it's Paul in for Austin Rivers. Leonard, he's checked in for the Spurs. Spurs trail by 11. Back to Parker. And it's blocked by Jordan. Here's Reddick. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Griffin. Jordan trying to free himself up. That one a little long. The Spurs have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. They kick it out to Green. Parker, right side. Parker, right side. Shot clock at six. Outside Leonard. Launches it. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Now here's Paul. Five points in the game. Here's Griffin. Good, and Paul gets the assist. And that's now seven points for Blake Griffin. And what jumps out at you guys, the assist totals. I mean, they have been 
dominant in that category. It's the ball movement, the player movement, and a great rhythm to their offense. Clearly seems to me a different mindset between these teams. And the foul goes against San Antonio. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Some good defense in the NBA, so let's check out the leaders. In the third spot, the Spurs. Kevin, their opponents haven't been able to score effectively throughout the regular season because they always seem to have an answer for whatever offense their opponents throw at them. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Back to Paul, and he lobs it up toward the rim. Nobody near Barnes. They grab their own miss. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Full 24 second shot clock. Jordan with a screen on Duncan. Griffin draws the double. Kicks to Barnes. Left side Jordan. Another shot. Back to Griffin. Redick for three. And he gets it to go. And the Clippers lead by 16. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision-making for them offensively. Yeah, absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding. They are piling up the assists. Duncan, the pass to Parker. Shot to end this cold run. The shot will not go. It's a plus-five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. Duncan against Griffin. Now the dish to Reddick. Six on the shot clock. And it's off from three-point range. Spurs trail by 16. Parker with it. He's picked up by Jordan. This is to Leonard. Right side, Leonard. Out left to the wing. Shoots off the screen. And it's Baines missing. They're losing their composure a little bit here on the bad end of the run. Yeah, they are. And they need to come up with a rally-wrecking play here to stop this run. Here's Reddick. The rebound by the Spurs. Baines has got three rebounds now in this one. That's good. Leonard's got his second basket of the game. Superb assist there. He played the role of the maestro on that one. Goes up on the high post. No luck. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Parker kicks to Leonard. It's deflected and stolen by Jordan. Paul outside. Just three on the clock. And that's two points on the layup. Paul's got seven. Great move to the hoop, and I love the finger roll finish. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far hasn't been close. Clippers ahead, up by 16. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke, standing by on the sideline. Doris? Yes, Kevin, I'm here with Blake Griffin, and obviously a high-scoring half for you guys in this one, Blake. What was the key to breaking it open? Uh, it starts on defense. You know, our defense did a good job of getting stops, getting rebounds, getting out in the open floor. Got some easy buckets, and then, you know, shots start to fall. Blake, thank you. Kevin, a complete culture change with this organization. Thank you, Doris, and we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime.